Leader, a noun, a person who guides or inspires others. Nowhere is that definition truer than in the Service Leaders Program created by the Family Intervention Services in Richland 2. The students in this program are a testament to what a person can accomplish when given the opportunity to be a leader. At first glance, you might think these students are AP students, adding extra activities to their college resumes. But these young men and women did not begin their educational careers with high goals. Six years ago when I came to this district and was asked to um, provide services to kids um, who were having discipline problems. So the purpose, the original goal was to reduce the, the expulsion rate. While the initial goal was to reduce disciplinary issues, the program has seen successes far beyond that. They're a small group, but the percentage is really high in terms of their success. This leadership program involves students that are considered by most to be lost causes. One look at the work they're doing and the attitudes that they have and anyone can see that is not the case. Each student has seen the positive effect they can have on others and has helped them to learn some valuable lessons. Being responsible uh, and honoring your, your peers, your, your people that's higher than you. It's been a lot easier for me to understand people's emotions, how people are feeling around me. Like, I, could, I used to be able to, like, if somebody wanted me to back off, I couldn't tell. Now, if I can understand if, like, I'm going too far. I learned how to be patient and how to control my anger a little, I guess, and not follow everybody up. You got to look out for other people as well. Just don't think about yourself. See it. All of the students in the program have had disciplinary issues while in Richland, too. But with the help of the Family Intervention Services, led by Dr. Karen Cooperhaber, they have made tremendous strides in their personal and educational lives. I think one thing that, that really um, that makes me feel good, you know, when I see these kids um, kind of out there doing what they're doing, and is that the, the ability to be kind. We look at that discipline record, and then we look at our, who we're working with, and we see that, and then we see the student, and we're like, this is not even the same person. That's the kind of thing I think that's the most rewarding. Honestly, when I came into this, I was in a bad position, academic-wise and attitude-wise, and I was getting in trouble a lot. I came into this, it gave me kind of an excuse to be outgoing and not get in trouble for it, like usually you would in school. It gave me a reason to actually help people, and it gave me more of a clear mind. Usually I like, it's about me, 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 but like I care about a lot of people now. Like, it's, I know it's not all about me. Other people need help in this world. Each student was invited to be a part of the program by the staff, but before they could join, each had to undergo an application process that included a personal interview. For some, this was the first time anyone had shown a positive interest in their abilities. We developed a, a um, process of application, so we would tell certain students, we think that you should apply to our new program, which is service leaders. We're going to have this select group of students who are going to be doing service, but leading the other students who are kind of coming there involuntarily to try to change the energy of the, of the experience of the community service. Well, first I got a letter. I didn't know I was getting and accepted in it and so then I had to fill out a paper I guess that's what you could get yeah, a paper application and so then we came here they asked us questions and then after that they called us back and then you got accepted so once I got into it like the first day they told you you don't have to do it forever you don't have to continue to do it you do it I think they said for like about two months at first and then your entire sentence is basically over me, I was always the outgoing guy and I kind of started enjoying it. So I was like, after that two months, they asked me if I wanted to leave. I told them no, and I've been doing this for almost two and a half years now. Vicki Kelchner began with this program while she was still in college as an intern and grew to enjoy working with these students so much that after she began her career in Richland too, she continued to be a part of the program. I continued to work even though I work full time as a school counselor in the district, but I continued to coordinate the Service Saturday program because it is extremely important. And I think that through service, people's lives can be changed and they become more empathetic. They understand other populations, they can relate better. and. Then, and overall, working with students, I think it helps them to be better individuals and then better adults. 
These students have chosen to give up their free time to serve others by doing yard work at family shelters, working with other students, volunteering at the Ronald McDonald House, and much more. At first, some of the students were not sure what to expect from a program like this. I was kind of nervous of doing the service. Um, the first service that I attended was feeding the homeless. And I was kind of scared and nervous, didn't know what to do. But now since I did it, I enjoy it. The work is hard, but you just got to think of Think of it like you helping somebody else. You making somebody else have a better place to live. So that's why I do the hard work and stuff. And I think they kind of expect me to do more since I've been in it so long, which that's fine with me. I love having high expectations set for me so I can actually achieve those goals and exceed it. During their time as a service leader, each undergoes extensive leadership training and work very closely with students from USC to further build their skills as an effective leader. It's a fun experience. It teaches you, uh, what can I say, team building and uh, to respect others that are not like you. Through all of this, these students learn what it's like to be a positive influence and begin to recognize that the people they once called friends may have not had their best interests in mind. Um, it's helping me out with my family, with my friends. Now I, I pick better friends. Now I don't hang around the in crowd. I look at it like this. If you think twice, and you gotta think twice, don't do it. Now that's how I look at it. I set my own ways. I'm my own leader. I'm not a follower. The differences in them are not only evident in their friends and educational lives. Their families have also noticed some big changes. I've seen him mature. I've seen him grow and realize that he's responsible for his own action. I've seen where the intervention center has not only worked with him, but let him realize that when you make choices, you're held accountable to your choices. She's always been helpful, but um, I see her more, you know, excited when she does the service leaders on the weekends. And it's like, um, you know, when I say, oh, we ain't going to be able to make it. She's like, oh, please, you know. It's an excitement to do something like this. It gives us a, a common ground, really, to, um, to, to talk, opens up the doors. When he comes home, he's so excited. He's about what he's done all day, helping people and or just doing anything, really. And so it gives us an opportunity to sit down and just have some quality time to talk. It just showed her that she is her own leader. Um, she's a smart girl. Um, she has her own mind, and sometimes, you know, your, your judgment is better than others. I'm telling you, DeMario being a service leader has really made a change in his life. It really has. He's, he's become a more caring and loving person. Through this program, each of these students has been given the chance to see what they can accomplish if they're willing to work for their goals. And students who once were written off by some are now shining examples of what is hidden in all of us, the ability to rise up and become a better person by helping others in need.